we have 40 mile an hour winds up gusts up to 60. Hail, thunder. It came in, I was outside trying to see if everything was okay, and it was, yep, scary. So, really want to get the inside drywall all hung and stuff, but I desperately need to get these meat birds out on the pasture in the chicken tractors. So, I'm going to build the chicken tractors right now, and that's the next, that's the next piece of the puzzle, at least for today. It smells awful. I mean, like death inside that shed. I'm so glad that we have the shed and that the chickens aren't in here in the brooder because they stink. So, and we've been changing out the bedding and stuff. It doesn't matter. They immediately make it disgusting. So, need to get them in the tractor. Um, number one, it's going to be less food cost. They're going to be able to eat the grass and forage for bugs and stuff like that. And then number two, just they need space to grow and things. This is the template that we're going to be using. So there, there's a ton of uh, complexity to these things that I'm going to go ahead and say is unnecessary. Sorry, Joel and Justin. Major differences is I'm using 2x4s because that's what I have. They're using 1x3s and 1x4s and 1x2s. I get why you would use that, but I also get why it's going to need a lot of support like they have in there. I think two by fours, these eight footers are gonna have to get fine. making some chicken tractors. Bingo! Also, what else down here? Good screws, beauty. Also, my skill saw. Let's go measure the feeder first. I really like having a bunch of two by fours on hand, and this is using all my two by fours, so. I'm gonna have to go get another 25. I always, as a rule, like to have at least 20 on hand so that I don't have to run to the store to make something real quick. So, this is using all that I got. I also got these hinges. Hopefully they work. I have a new helper! Hi! Hi, Meme. Thanks for helping. You're welcome. Okay, so as I'm building this, I'm thinking that I need to rip this one in half. What I'm going to do is make it so that it's 24 inches, rip it in half, and then it's going to be like a hinged lid on there. I'm making it 24 because that's how big that piece is. I think it's going to work out great. to make a video about how I don't think a table saw is a necessary tool but like I'm actually using it right now which is funny it's really convenient to have but I don't use it very frequently so right now I'm ripping two of these two by fours uh, and then I'm ripping that one in half for 24 inches and so uh, I think this is gonna work out really well I'm gonna show you what I mean I'm making this up as I go so hope it works out also way short on two by fours Here's what we've come up with. So I gotta attach all of the roof screws on there. But it looks, I think, pretty darn good. I extended the um, shade here and I'm probably gonna turn it around because the sun is actually more, you know, the, this direction. So I think this will be really good. We'll see how it goes. Putting the Cornish cross out now. You're gonna be happier. There's your chicken tractor. No, it's glory. Used some leftover siding that was just sitting on the side of the house. All right, they're all moved out. I think it's pretty darn good. So we have 40 mile an hour winds up just up to 60. Hail, thunder. I came in, I was outside trying to see if everything was okay, and it was scary. It was. Super nervous about the first night with the chickens. First night with the chickens, let's see how they're doing. They are happy. They are eating. I moved the tractor. They're already making a mess of it in here. 
And that's what it looked like the night before. The night before, pretty cool. I think they really like it, so that's good. Into sanding the tape layer, and we're putting a top layer on it. So hopefully we'll be getting this top layer on and finished up this weekend, along with hanging up all the drywall. It's supposed to be raining outside, so we're not gonna be able to work outside as much. So we should have a good opportunity to get it done. good got a lot mudded for our top coat mud in our master bedroom bathroom and closet toilet room which is fantastic and now I'm heading to the well house because we're having lower water pressure and it definitely seems to be a bit troubling so not quite sure what's going on here I was looking the pressure is really high it's Mac oh jeez just found another thing to do. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Uh, this is, you have to look at your home building as an adventure because things just always find more work to do. Very relieved the well pump is working properly. Uh, now it's time to finish the ceilings, the corners with the mud in here, and then sand. It's looking, it's looking good. Gotta get. Gotta get working here. Lots to do. Those kinds of things that just come up and take time, it just jumps, seems like it happens all the time. And trying to make sure that you don't just stay in a reactive state of always like chasing the next crisis that comes up. Because they pop up all the time, especially when you have animals. It's like, Something's always going on with them. Anyways, let's get some mud up there. Look at this new 12 inch trowel I got. Sweet! Unexpected day, we got a new puppy. That's crazy. Been looking for a little bit though. And uh, it's an Australian sheepdog. And he's very sweet. It's pretty exciting. It's my daughter, Madeline, who really has been doing a great job taking care of rabbits and all kinds of things, so she's kind of her puppy, and uh, it's pretty cute. 